So winter's here, it's absolutely freezing and I need some cheap eating for in my little bungalow. So I have got central eating in that, but it's on gas bottles and it costs a fortune at the minute. And a lecky, that costs a fortune as well, but I am putting solar on the roof. That's another, vi another video of that. So I thought I'd get one of these uh, Chinese eaters. So I've got my little outhouse at the back of me gaff there. And a fitted one. Hey, <laughs> look at that. Little set up there. Chinese eater. It's one of the eight kilowatt ones, which are not eight kilowatt. They're about five kilowatt. So I've got one of them. And then um, I've got that plumbed in the wall. So I've got the air intake going into it from in the house. And this is the hot air going into the house. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I've just got one of them little cheapo switch mode power supplies. That's um, a 30 amp one, that. So proper ghetto set up. <laughs> just got it on a little piece of folded galvanized steel there. I've got the pump underneath and I've got the exhaust going outside through the wall and then the combustion air intake coming outside as well. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, go in here and it's all set up in the corner there. So I've got my controller there. At the minute, I've got it on its lowest setting. Uh, can get it down to 1.2 hertz because I'm running kerosene. So I can run it really low and then turn the fan speed up a little bit. Um, it's even got a little remote control for it there and everything. But yeah, I've got uh, the hot air coming out at the bottom there, underneath my little unit. So I can feel that, feels nice and warm. And I've got the air intake. I can't remember which one it's in now. Just hang on a minute, take these drawers out. Yeah, so the air intake's there. So that's taking just the air from the room and then recirculating it through the heater and it's coming out at the bottom there. So, but it's all right, it's working quite well, pretty chuffed with it. I mean, it hardly takes any fuel. So, because kerosene, you've got to get it in like a minimum of about 500 litres to get it cheap. What I've done, eBay bought a massive two and a half thousand litre tank <laughs> and rigged it outside my gaff. So I've got that. And that's where the exhaust and the combustion is coming through the wall, the back of the heater there. So that's all right. So I've just got a pipe coming out of that. Bit of brake pipe, actually. Proper ghetto rig. And that's just going down the side there and going straight through the wall into my heater. So yeah, it's working all right. Well chuffed with it. Got that brimmed, got 2,000 litres in that. Got it for about 72p a litre. It's not too bad. So yeah, you can stay warm in winter now. So yeah, I've got the fuse there and the wiring's coming up here and I just go to a socket there and then um, that stays on all the time. I've actually got a little power going through there to a switch inside and then you can actually turn the power supply off from in here as well, which you never really do in winter. So yeah, cause I'm running on kerosene um, this is like classed as a five kilowatt heater, really. So I've got my lowest hertz on 1.2 hertz. Um, then I've got my highest hertz on four hertz. And I've got the lowest fan speed on eight, 1800 RPM. And then I've got the highest fan speed on 4800 RPM. And I think it's working quite well. Um, because a lot of people, they run them on diesel. And it's slightly different, you know, because of the viscosity. Uh, I find that it's thinner, the kerosene heating oil, and it tends to pump it a little bit faster. So if you slow it down a bit more, increase the fan speed, get a better burn. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So cost-wise, the heater from Viva was 85 quid. So like I say, that's the five kilowatt one. Dead easy fit, you know what I mean? You've seen all videos on YouTube and that. Just got your uh, your exhaust and your combustion inlet there. There you go, fruit wall. And you've got your air intake. And then your heat output. So yeah, bargain. 
get all the fitting kit with it and everything you need there, control, all the wiring harness and that. Even get a fuel tank. Not that I needed it. But my fuel tank, that two and a half li uh two and a half thousand litre one, it was only 130 quid, so bargain. So yeah, um probably users if we had it on 1.2 hertz for say 10 hours, it probably takes about a litre. So if you have it on low all day just to air the place, it'd take about a litre. So it's, yeah, pretty chuffed with that. And then they have like my log burner for night time, innit? So yeah, best of both worlds. So well chuffed with that. Happy days, mate.